Hello, welcome to Moo Moo Math, where we upload a new math video every day. In this video, I'd like to work on one-step equations that involve fractions. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Say we have 2 7 x is equal to 3 fourths. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to isolate the variable. Well, in order to isolate the variable, we can go ahead and divide by 2 7 And so we will divide 2 7 by 2 7 And we know that whatever we do on one side of the equation, we must do to the other side. So now we have 2 fourths divided by 2 7 on the other side. The 2 7 will cancel, and we are left with x is equal to 3 fourths divided by 2 7 well, a trick to dividing fraction is to keep, change, and flip. So I will keep the first fraction. I will change the sign, and then I will flip the last fraction. I then just multiply straight across. 3 times 7 is 21, and 4 times 2 is 8. Now, if we would like to convert that into a mixed fraction, we can take... 21 and divide it by 8. 8 will go into 21 twice, 16, and that leaves us with 5 eighths left over. So that will equal to 2 and 5 eighths. Okay, let's okay. go ahead and move to another example. We have x divided by 1 and 3 eighths is equal to 1 and 1 fourth. Okay, so we need to get x by itself. In order to do that, we need to multiply it by 1 and 3 eighths. So that is 1 and 3 eighths is equal to 1 and 1 fourth times 1 and 3 eighths. Okay, so now the, these will cancel. We are left with x is equal to 1 and a fourth times 1 and 3 eighths. Okay, in order to make this a little easier to work with, I'm going to convert it into an improper fraction. So I've got 4 times 1 plus 1 is 5 over 4 times 8 times 1 is 8 plus 3 is 11 eighths. Okay, so now I have it into a form that is a little bit easier to work with. So I will go 5 times 11 is 55, and 4 times 8 is 8, 16, 24 is 32, okay? So now if uh, I would like, I can convert this into a mixed fraction. So 32 into 55 will go 1 time, 55 minus 32 is 23 over 32. So that is your answer for that one-step equation. And finally, let's look at one more. Our last one is 3 fifths x is equal to 6. Okay, so I need to get x by itself. I know when the uh, 3 fifths is sitting right next to the x, that uh, is tells me that it's multiplication. So in order to undo multiplication, I'm going to divide by 3 fifths. And so now what I do to one side, I must do to the other. So I'm going to go 6 divided by 3 fifths. Okay, the 3 fifths cancel. X is equal to 6 divided by 3 fifths. Well, I'm going to use my keep, change, and flip rule. So I'm going to put 6 over 1 change the sign, and flip the last fraction. So now I just multiply straight across. 6 times 5 is equal to 30. 1 times 3 obviously is 3. And 30 divided by 3 is equal to 10. Okay. Hope these will help. were helpful. Thanks for watching. We upload a new math video every day at Moo Moo Math.